Hey guys, and welcome to another one of our gardening adventures. In this video, we are potting our miniature peach trees into wine barrels. They look super pretty, and I am in love with them. So this is what we did. First, I went online and researched how to prep wine barrels. I found a very useful blog called Hitchhiking to Heaven where it explained how to prep wine barrels for trees. So first we cut holes into the bottom. We did five based on the size of our barrels and they are about the size of a quarter. Next, we prepped the wood with some apple cider vinegar, being sure to really coat the holes themselves, the bottoms, and the inside. Supposedly, this is supposed to help prevent the wood from getting bugs and such and deteriorating as much. So we're trying it out, see how it goes. We used about a quart of apple cider vinegar between all four barrels, so make sure that you have plenty of apple cider vinegar available. Next, we covered the holes with some pliable metal fencing that I had left over from another project. So we just cut little squares, just big enough to cover those holes so that way our soil didn't start falling out the bottom and making sure that we had plenty of opportunity for drainage. And now the fun part, planting the trees. So we prepped the ground, we put down some plastic plates that lifted the barrels up off the ground, again, allowing for better drainage. If there was any excess water, and now we're just trying to situate our trees in there appropriately, making sure that we give ourselves enough of a lip because eventually I will be bedding other plants in with them. Sorry, my son is going to adjust the camera here. You'll see a few more wobbles. See? There he goes. Um, so I'm just allowing space for some co-plants to go in there so that way we can have something on the top of the soil that will lock in more water and keep our soil nice and nutrient rich. So we've got our appropriate height. We're also taking into account how the tree is sitting in there. We want it to be kind of straight. We're stripping away the bucket itself. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to push most of the soil up towards the edges of the barrel while leaving the root ball of the tree in the middle. And there's like, I think we left like maybe a three inch gap all the way around because we're gonna use the water to kind of loosen up the soil of the root ball itself. We don't want to disturb it too much, but we do want those roots to be able to spread out into the new soil. So we left like, it's like a little moat around the root ball. So we've got soil underneath, we've got our moat, we're filling, we're not filling the moat, but we are putting water around the root ball, which created a moat. And then after we kind of got the soil around the root ball a little bit loosened up, we started filling in that gap with more soil and then watering it the rest of the way. And then here we are getting our next one. So we actually picked two trees. We have an Alberta peach tree, which is the one that we're working on now. And the one that we had just finished up is a donut peach tree. And I'm excited to see if they put off any fruit this year. They're not technically supposed to because they're still pretty young. Um, but if they do, that would be beautiful. I've been over there pruning the blossoms off, making sure that we've got lots of room in between blossoms. It's so hard to do because you see those pretty flowers and you know that potentially there could be fruit coming from that flower and it's just like, oh gosh, I'm pulling this off. But it's actually supposed to be really good for your fruit trees because it will help them delegate energy more appropriately and give you better fruit off of the blossoms that are left on the tree. So I go through and I leave about an inch or so between blossoms and hopefully we'll get a few peaches this year. If not, we have really pretty trees over by our gate. In this video, they still haven't quite opened up, but now they are open and pink and so pretty. So there you have it. We're just finishing up this Alberta tree, getting it all nestled in. We decided to use wine barrels because we wanted the opportunity to be able to move them around if need be. Real men, real men. Uh, which actually worked to our advantage because we had snow after this video was taken and we were able to quickly pop those peach trees into our garage for a day and a half. Was it two days? I can't remember exactly, but just long enough to save them from that last cold spike and then we were able to put them back out. So we are enjoying them a lot already, fruit or no fruit. They are gorgeous and they look so cute in these wine barrels and I'm so excited to have fruit trees. I've wanted them for a couple years now and I 
am just in love with the whole idea and I can't wait to start canning my very own peaches. These are pretty peach trees. Our girls named the Alberta One Elvis and the Donut Peach Tree Treeling. So we'll keep you posted on how they do and if they do end up producing fruit this year. Fingers crossed. All right guys, we'll chat soon. Bye.